Welcome, welcome to the Trap Bootcamp Podcast, y'all. It is a new month and we have new vibes. I am here with my co-host, Sam Silver. Hello. <laughs> and my right-hand man, Zach. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, we're in a new place. We have some new things happening. We have a new podcast studio that we're working out of. I'm really excited because, you know... We st- I started this thing in my house, you know, just me and a computer, and now we're moving up to better things. True. I remember the first time I was uh, on Zoom with you, and now I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> Well, I was looking up openness and spiritual openness, yes. and as it says that it begins with an open mind and our willingness to investigate new ideas and in, and consider alternative ways of thinking and living. And then when we have that, our source can enter our thinking and leak us with new states of consciousness. And I feel like that's important yeah. because as you get older, you evolve. You're not going to just be the same type of person. You know, I even know a person that was at one point an atheist. When that person's father passed, they contacted me and was like, can you pray for me? And that was so deep to me because it was like he was using another spiritual practice to enhance his life or just to help him in that moment. And I feel like that's where we have to be. We have to be spiritually open. You can't close yourself off to things that might change your life. Absolutely. Are you spiritually open? I Yes, I, I believe so. And do you believe that you're living a balanced lifestyle? Hell no. No, I'm definitely, this is like the first time I'm really, really working on finding out what my spirituality means and mm-hmm. what it means for me to be balanced. The way I'm finding is God is just the overall like word. Meditating is technically praying, mm-hmm. you know? Yes, so, it's, it's still God. So. Exactly. In order to in- achieve a balanced lifestyle, here are a few things that I looked up that like help. You must make sure that you're healthy. Your body needs plenty of rest, exercise, and healthy food. It's important to take time out from your busy day and enjoy Um, activities that unwind like reading and meditating, engaging in group activities and outings. I don't do that very often. That helps you be more balanced because I feel like COVID has made me, it's turned me into a different person. I don't know, for two years I've been doing my own thing. And so now when I go out, like I'm learning how to be more open. What's been some of your like, um, self-care practices that you've so i actually brought some things okay. um because it's all new and i'm trying to like stay on top of it that's so, awesome yeah. yes that's so every good. week i just obviously clients but like i'm doing some meetings online and like any of that stuff i just have it written down make sure that i go every morning i actually do eight drops of minerals in my water just eight drops chug it down right ready to go so what minerals are these so this is a brand that i mentioned before but it is it's it's volcanic minerals and it purifies the water it helps you actually hydrate more etc etc and then also in the morning i pull a card from my deck to see what i need to focus on for the day so just kind of stuff like that so not even really like physical things other than like maybe going out in nature for 10 minutes every day if I can but um just like little acts of kindness towards myself I guess to make that even more balanced in your day and throughout your week what are some of your regeneration regeneration practices so just to regenerate as long as it's not fucking cold like it has been I will literally go out it outside sit in the sun for minimum 10 minutes Mm -hmm. or try and just have my bare feet on the ground yeah yeah and then just really um focus on whatever kind of breathing i can do yeah and just like try and release bad energy or whatever i meditate in the morning when i uh, get up in the morning i do like a 10 minute guided meditation but what i've been doing lately i found this like little hill and I don't know why I've been by the, I've seen this hill and been by this thing for years. Yeah. And the last two weeks ago, I walked up that hill, got on the top of it, and I sat there for a minute. And you can pretty much see everything around you. Wow. And there's this one beautiful tree right there, and it's literally like you're like on the top top of the world almost. Oh, like maybe that's just me. Like interior. because yeah. it made me feel so good. And yeah. the day that I um. I was mourning for my grandmother and I went out there and I just put my earphones on and no one can really see me. Yeah. And I started dancing. Oh. Girl, and I I danced and I cried. Something something on that mountain opened opened me up. 
And so now I've been going there like every other day and I, I just, it. I got my little blanket in the back and I just lay there and just absorb, I you know, that. whatever, whatever I'm getting from it, I'm, I accept. It's cleansing for it's me. Like, <sighs> yes. Yeah. It's very, very cleansing. We have an event coming up, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Break it down, break it down. And I have, I think I've said on every episode, yeah, February 19th, da, 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 da. but we have pushed it back because <laughs> I took some time to really focus on getting some collaborators that have the same energy as me. And I have done it with SD Vegan Holistic and Utopia Tribe. And that brings us to an event that will be happening April 30th in Los Angeles. And it is called the Comic High Healing Junction Marketplace. And you're going to be able to, we're going to have vendors there. We're going to have live performances, uh, yoga, breath work, Vendors that have holistic healing items. We're going to have a dance party. It's going to be a very exciting event. And I'm excited for all of us to be a part. Yeah. And the Trap Boot Camp podcast will be there. I will find you and yes. make you talk to me. She is going to be interviewing. <laughs> so please look forward to the Common Kai Healing, Healing Junction Marketplace. Okay, I say that because that's what this episode is and about. And you have, we have room for vendors, right? So if someone's interested, please if you are let us interested, know. yes, let us know because we are looking for vendors. You can submit your um, you can submit it to Kamekai Healing Junction at gmail dot com. So if you are interested, please hit us up, and you can be a part of that event. Do you want to do a reel? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's definitely a happy dance. No, we don't want that one. I don't fucking like you. What? I said I don't fucking like you. <laughs> you don't like me? No. I don't fucking like you. What? I said I don't fucking like you. <laughs> you don't like me? No. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Bitch, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's so cool. Really fun. That's fine. <laughs> week y'all i'm excited because as you know i'm always dropping something new so the herb of the week is palo santos palo santos which means hollywood or wood of the saints is the mystical tree that grows on the coast of south america and is related to frankincense myrrh and copal burning these sticks is a sacred practice used by the indigenous communities of the andes and all over the world to clear the space and ward off evil spirits the practice is called smudging okay and it's a spiritual practice where you clear energy fields our new candle appropriately titled <laughs> spiritual metaphysical open-minded i just know shit that candle is an ar aromatic candle that is made with palo santos and citrus and it's a hand poured soy candle a 30-hour candle and we have dried Palo Santos chips and sunflowers in those. It smells really good, you guys. I'm excited about it because this is something new that I've tried. And at first I was like, Palo Santos scent. When I smelled it, I was like, oh, it's wow. Amazing. It's yeah. amazing. And it really specifically works on clearing negative energy. www.trapbootcamp.com and on our Etsy, the Trapmate Spa page, okay? So the ethereal Trapmate Spa page. <laughs> We don't have a hot flash today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we I don't. think we're kind of done with the... Yeah, oh. you know. Like for now. It's not for everyone. I'll mm -hmm. say it that way. Number one, I'm going through here. Meat market, meat market. Ooh, I like that piece of meat. And when that piece of meat doesn't respond to me, it kind of fucks me up. I've heard on a documentary that they purposely do that. So when you match, it's like, oh, you got to match. And it's, it's, a, it's literally a gambling addiction. It's yeah. like how yes. I hoped you win. And that's, I yeah. feel like it is definitely self-care not going on there. Fair enough. Jabari. So that's our hot flash for the day. She said no hot flash. No hot flash today. 
And moving forward, we're going to just find other ways to get hot flashes. My youngest daughter has been diagnosed with ADHD and auditory processing, and she's been prescribed Vyvanse, Ritalin, and uh, Adderall. Completely gone out of my household. Life Pack allows to turn on the light switch without having issues that a, a pharmaceutical would normally have. That was really our focus, was getting the pharmaceuticals out of our household, and uh, we've been successful with that mission. I'm just gonna give a shout out to um, actually where we are, which is Life Pack Organic Studio. Yes! Um, I've been working with these guys, um, Jimmy and Rob, for a few years now at this point, and um, they have an amazing company. Um, it is CBD based. My favorite is the Roll On. So if you have soreness or it's almost like a Bengay, but you know, like better. So, so yeah, because Bengay, does it yeah. smell? Let me see the smell. I mean, I love the smell. It's like very minty, eucalyptus. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's but huge. and it's CBD. Yeah, and it they have it, so it really Ooh. soaks into your skin right away. So I mean, go ahead and give it a shot. This one, it's always kind of out of stock. So if you want it, order it ASAP because I think they have like five left right now. But um, and then another one I use is their Night Pack, which does have melatonin in it, also CBD. Um, and then the day pack is also really good. This has vitamin C, et cetera, et cetera, as well as CBD. So thank you guys for letting us use your studio. I yes, really thank you, it. Life Pack we Organics. Love we love you. Elevates, dominates. Mm, mm, mm. We're gonna talk about tantric breathing, okay? The goal of tantric breathing is to breathe deep enough to feel the sensation in your sexual organs. You're supposed to lay flat on your back and let go of all the tension that you have in your body, right? And then as you breathe, you arch your back and lift up your pelvis. Inhale. Exhale. <laughs> right? <laughs> that, that, that already, oh, see, it already starts something. Contrary to popular belief, Tantra is not just a sexual practice, but it's a system of yoga where all of our feminine and masculine energy is being processed. But that's also the, the way that we use diaphragmatic breathing. I put my hands on my ribs, right? Okay. And so when I inhale, you want your belly to fill. So inhale and then exhale. Letting the rib cage and everything come in. So a couple there. So go ahead. Okay. So I want you to let me. So try and like push out my, into my hands. Yeah. Good. Into the belly button. Her out. I'm tactically touching her here, so her body knows this is where we want to focus. And but then you also want to go front to back. So can't really see if I'm gonna put my hand on our belly button and our back. And now you're gonna breathe into my back hand as well. And sometimes it's nice if you have someone to do this because there might be part of your body that you're not able to focus on breathing in. But this is also an exercise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? It'll, it'll like work the pelvic floor. And gentlemen or ladies, if you don't know where that is, that's down yonder. Yeah. No, <laughs> Below. The belt. Where that is uh, the show for the day. Yeah, I think you so. You know, I'm excited to share more information on the next episode with you guys. Make sure you tune in. Thank you so very much, Zach. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you, Sam. Well, thank you. <laughs> and thank you, Trapmates, for viewing the show today on Spotify. We just got accepted to be one of the first um, podcasts yep. to do visual podcast on Spotify. So stay tuned. We're gonna have to. It's gonna take some time to load in all that video we have. So uh, I'm excited about that. So. Please, please okay. keep visiting us and follow me, follow me, follow me, or don't follow me. Yeah. And you know, I always ask you to follow me, so I'm just like, I'm just do it. Follow her. Follow me too, though. I'll be lying. <laughs> I need followers. <laughs>